It's me, Mario. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Crowned Coast. Yes, we are here with uh, Super Mario 64. Yes, and I will fiddle with Mario's nose. No, I won't. Why did... Why isn't that working? What? Why isn't this working? There it goes. There it is. I'm trying to remember... <clears throat> there's a button you can press, and it locks Mario's, like, various things into place. I think it's... Is it... Hmm. So yeah, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so you're playing it this time. Yeah. Thought I'd give you a break from Sly, and I like this game a lot more than you do, so it's only fair. Yeah, you know, I've through the options. I've tried to play this game several times. I've gotten uh, a, a ways through it, but I've never been able to stick it out. Let's see. Score is interesting. I never look here, and you can't do it. Interesting. I always like the little graphic for the new Mario. Like, yeah. playing this game as a kid, um, I always rented games, so I, I hate to admit it, I did not really, I was not a good gamer. I would just progress by playing other people's save files. <laughs> so, it was kind of bad. Yeah, that was the thing when uh, for cartridges at the rental shop is that everyone's save data were on it. Disc-based games were fine because you know you had yeah. uh, your own d uh, memory card at home, but yeah. Oh, these textures look extra crunchy. I'm hoping the emulation works out, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, we're not playing this on an actual N64. It's no, far gosh, too no. crisp for that. Which is a blessing and a curse, but yeah. Yeah, this is a it's game. Every texture scene. This is yeah. a game that I've really wanted to get into and play and enjoy, but I just can't. You have to learn to put up with its bullshit. That's. I mean, this was favorite. like the first 3D game to control like this. Like it pioneered so many right. things, and just like the pioneers, it got some dysentery. And some cannibalism. All right, so I mean, it. I, I would. I would love it if this game got like, uh, like there's that PC port, right? If it, oh yeah. If it I mean, got like more modernized controls. Oh yeah, and it, the PC port can do miracles. Um, so look into it. There might be some options, but let's see. Ciao, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via warp pipe. One of her many castles, I suspect. Using the controller as a piece of cake, press A to jump, B to attack, B to read signs, to use control stick at the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Yeah. And and I'm I know I, one thing Yeah, go ahead. It's this turn, right, that people hate. Uh I mean part of it is yeah, that turning radius is a little uh does not feel natural. Yeah. I've internalized it, so I kinda stopped worrying about like the thing is, I didn't know what was bad controls, so I just, this is how games worked. Oh, yeah, there, there was a lot of things as a kid you just sort of put up with. I, I did that a lot. It's just, mm -hmm. I did not have an N64, so I could not put up with this at the time. Yeah. My, my first real just, 3D Mario game was Galaxy, and I find it difficult to go back to go to anything it's before just that. It's so crazy to me that your first was Galaxy, man. That explains a lot. I didn't have a GameCube. I didn't have an N64. Fair enough. Yeah, I was the Nintendo kid. You were... The I had a PS1 kid. and a PS2 growing up. Yeah. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press A to jump. See to crouch. Be to punch. Read sign. Grab something. Be a... Ba -ba. All right. I'm only reading the signs because... Since you... Uh... There we go. Since you've never played all the way through this game, I thought I'd demonstrate stuff you might ignore. Yeah. Or not no to uh there is a fun YouTube channel. Oh no called um let's see, I think I need to turn my game down. Um uh, there's a channel called Any Austin and he Dang it, Mario DS has like a step here and I always forget it's not in this version. Um he has a cool game called no cool series called Odd and Remarkable Places in Video Games. And that little area I tried to jump to and failed horribly is a fun spot he pointed out. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 
And, now, it, and I, I really like 3D Mario, you know, Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, Odyssey, yeah. some of my favorites, but I've I've gotten through most of uh, Sunshine before, but eventually it gets to the point where I just kind of can't anymore. It's a little bit too much for me, and I've never gotten too far into 64. Right. Anyway, enough lollygagging. I'll try to get on the castle later. Or maybe I'll save it for some other time. What does this sign say? You know, I'd consider Super Mario 64 if it wasn't for that D-pad. Or D-pad? Uh, Super Mario 64 DS, sorry, I did not complete my thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's been... You would not believe the amount of effort people have done to try to make it full analog, and it just, it just can't be done for some reason. Hmm. Let's see, swimming lessons, tap A to breaststroke... Time to test right, swim fast, unless you spam like crazy. Uh, press A, hold to do a slow, steady flutter kick, up control pad to dive, pull back a stick head to the surface, press down to breathe with your shoes, to jump out of the water, hold down on the control stick, press A, Z to supply right, Mario can't breathe underwater, return to ba 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 can't open doors when they're underwater. Yeah. As a kid, we always made fun of, or my cousins would talk about how Mario could breathe through his feet. Because as long as any part of Mario is out of the water, he will not start losing air. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's it's interesting that there still to this day isn't like a definitive control scheme for swimming in 3D games. Like yeah. Odyssey did something different. I, I'd say that Odyssey is the best so far, but no one has really gotten something that everyone agrees is right. Yeah, I think part of the problem is just the idea of what makes good like what makes good underwater gameplay is also highly debated and level design as an extension of that but well it's because of the, the the three degree all, you know all six dimensions um, right instead of just you know uh, walking along the plane and then jumping occasionally and underwater mazes are from hell all right good afternoon the lack of two bros here pointing live from just outside peak just castle where I was just arrived at the scene. We'll be filming the entire thing live as he enters the castle and pursues missing power stars. Well, this is the first Mario's hearing of that. As a seasoned cameraman, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera by pressing the C buttons, or in my case, the C stick. If we can't adjust the view further, we'll buzz, take a look around, and press A to stop. A to resume play, switch camera modes, with R button, signs along the way, we read these instructions. For now, we're pointing live. This has been the lack of two breaks. Gotta, gotta go through every last element yeah. of the camera, because this was like yeah. the first time that a game had a well, camera like yeah, this. Yeah, and, and that's why they had lack of two, is just so people could like conceptualize the just idea of a video game camera. It had never been done before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, before I head in, one thing, I didn't know this. I thought that the wall kick was from Mario Sunshine and onwards. I did not know you could um, wall jump as Mario in 64, so it's a miracle I beat this game at all. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Welcome, no one's home. No so grab and don't come back. Yes. You remember that time that Nintendo made an, an entire controller for their console for one game and then were stuck with it for the rest of that generation? Uh, the N64 controller? They basically designed it for 64, Mario 64, and nothing else. See, that's the weird part, is what they tried to do was make a controller that was two controllers in one. If you held it on either side, it was like a SNES controller. If you held it in, like, the other way, it was like... You know, trying to be whatever the heck it was. Well, that's it, why it's for three armed weirdos. Well, that so what it, what it was is that this was back when it wasn't taken for granted that you can have both a stick and a D pad on the same grip and have it be perfectly right. comfortable. Nintendo thought that, oh, d a D pad and a stick? Well, if we want to have both, we have to have a different grip for them. And so that's where you get the center grip and the Z. But since this was the dawn of 3D gaming, nobody wanted to make 2D games on the 64, so they, uh, it was like poison, you know, it's like, oh, why would you make a 2D game on the N64? It's a 3D console, that's, 2D is over, old man. So, Meanwhile, Mischief Makers is like, screw it. Yeah, there, there were a couple, game. there was like, uh, like, it wasn't, uh, Kirby, 64? 
that lets that you use the... That was a 2.5D game. Yeah, but it's it's still, you use the D-pad, so... I think you use the controls pad. Hmm. Maybe, could it, be wrong. Maybe, there, maybe it's a different 2D game that I'm thinking of, like Tarzan? Yeah. But yeah, it, oh, that game it just didn't... Oh, piece of shit. It just didn't get used very much. Okay, no, that game was just hard for me as a kid. It might be good. I would not mind going through Kirby on here at some point. All right. Am I glad to see you? I'm not doing a Toad voice. The princess had died, and while everyone else were all trapped inside the castle walls. But I can walk out just fine, Toad. Bowser's still in the castle. Okay, as a kid, I thought he meant literally, like, stuck in the walls. But then again, the paintings are in the walls, so eh. Bowser's still in the castle stars. He has the power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power of stars as you find them. You can use your power to open the doors that Bowser sealed. <gasps> So much reading. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start the one with the pan of the bomb on the side. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect a power storage, you open the door with the big store. The princess must be inside. Oh. Yeah. Let's see, so I grabbed those coins pointlessly. So I guess let's head in here. Oh, fun fact. Um, I think Kay's Emanuel pointed this out. The way the game fakes lighting is um, if you, I think. I think the light comes out of Mario, no, not Mario's eyes, but the camera's eyes. So depending on which way you're facing, the light changes, which is kind of freaky. All right, and now for the signs no one reads. Uh, you can return to the castle's main hall, where the enemies live, just stop, stand still, press exit course. Uh-huh. Don't have to collect them all. I'll return later. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I like that this game's a little non-linear if you want it to be. Yeah. So, they got the triple jump, which is very, very finicky. Long jump, which is broken reality. And the wall kick, which should not be called the wall kick. And I'll show you why when we get there. Triple jump, long jump, all of your practice. I didn't read that either. Okay. In we go. I mean, for tutorial stuff like that, it's fine. I know how 3D Mario Mario's. Yeah, but you'll understand why the wall kick was a bad name. All right. I mean, uh, already it's it's dead. like you think that you'd jump at the wall and kick because there's a kick move. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see where that screwed me as a kid. Wow, you're smack dab in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First talk to the bomb on buddy. Speed of talk certainly help you out. So will his comrades in the other areas. Meet the signs. We know how to read signs and talk to characters. I think one of the times <laughs> I tried to play this where I sort of gave up was after I kept trying to read a sign, but the turning oh. radius kept preventing me from doing it. And I was like, I, you know what, I think I'm good. If it's if it was me, I'd just keep punching the sign by accident, or it's on purpose. Punch Toad. Watch out! You wander around here. You'd be plastered by a water bomb. Enemy Bob bomb slow to fight, and always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since Bob bomb got his paws on the Power Star. Recover the star for us. Cross the bridge to the left. Find with the Bob bomb. Please come back to see me after we retrieve the Power Star. It's weird it says that because you don't. Yeah, if you get the power star, you're ejected from the level. Yeah. Hit, 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 hit. All right. Hey, you, it's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. Big bomb on top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're the bob bomb buddies. We're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you'd like. So, fun fact. Do you think these are 3D models? I can already tell that they are not. They are not. And honestly, it's a pretty good effect. Like, on the fuzzy CRT, it looked even more convincing. Oh That's yeah, sick. I've, I've uh, come around more and more to the idea of mm -hmm. emulating the way these games originally looked, flaws and all. Like, on, yeah. on GBA games, I have a couple of filters that I put on to make it look more like the GBA LCD, and yeah, it looks great. Yeah. We did that for uh, on your projector outside when we played Mario or N64 games outside. That fuzziness that actually, really worked. It worked just nice. 
Read a sign, stand in front of it, press B just like you did. When you want to talk to a Koopa Troop or other animal... Animal? It's weird to describe them like that. Stand in front of it. Please recover the stars. We're still in bows in this course. That's the third time they've told me how to talk to a sign. You can punch enemies to knock them down. And kick. B again. And here's the least common used move. This weird... Like, didn't they? Haven't they something. since admitted that they threw it in there just because they could, and there's no real purpose to it? Uh, I can believe it. Let's see. I don't have uh, Z uh, bound to Z on the GameCube controller. I actually have it bound to L. It just feels better. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, it, it's it's under your left finger, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, what, uh, that's what the original had Z on. Although, now that I think about it, I think it would be my... I think it would be my middle finger. So, out of curiosity, how do you pronounce this enemy? bob -omb. bob -omb? Yeah. Like... Not like bob, -omb. bob Yeah, me neither. It's always been Bob. It's been Bomb Om, which is even more wrong, but that's how I say it. Yeah. All right. I am shouldn't be going for coins yet, but screw it. Might as well get it over with. These hundred coins is a thing you gotta do. Unfortunately, there should be a little Koopa around here somewhere. Gotta watch out for these water bombs. I will make that mistake many times. Yeah, it's funny. I don't think I knew how to long jump until I did Tall Tall Mountain, but that's a level I doubt you've seen. Ow. And if it looks like I'm struggling, it's because I am. I'm a bit rusty. You'd think all my time with B3... was it? B3... B3313 would help? It does not. Also, this... Honestly, I'm impressed that um, the N64 can do little physics puzzles like this. Yeah. I don't know how they program that, but eh. All right, what's the sign say? Well, it's easy to do a cross slide down a slope. Press Z while in the air to ground pound. Stop, crouch, then jump to do a backward somersault. Got that. Crouch and then jump to do a long jump or crouch and walk to... Never mind. I don't know why they say that. You literally just crawl like a baby, which I will probably abuse on the Vanish Cap level. All right. Just collect the coins. Here's a little trick that I wish I knew as a kid. You can walk around a post like five times or three times or... Let's see, four... Yep, because it was four times, and you can spawn a bunch of coins. And for 100 coin missions, it's definitely useful. Because otherwise, you're just scraping by in this level. I probably will regret trying to get 100 coins because I'm trying to remember if you even can um, in the first mission since you can't use the cannon, but I think there should be enough. I'm already halfway there. Now, if you get the star, it resets your coin count, right? Yes. Unfortunately, that is true. So, basically, we're more or less stuck into getting the 100 coin star. Yeah, I mean, I started down this road. Whether or not it was a good choice is up for debate. I'll be careful he does not push me out of the level. That can happen. Oh, I did the cool catch the bomb trick to clip through stuff. I didn't mean to do that. Here's a switch I always forget exists, but it's a nice little shortcut. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not that useful because, well, Mario can jump. Speaking of shortcuts, nothing would tell you about this. Oh, wait, nope. Other one. There's a lot of hidden warps in this game for no good reason. I guess they were like, well, we have wide open areas now, and 
I guess allow people to move about them a little bit faster. Oh, I guess Koopa doesn't spawn till level or till mission three. Did I get this bob on already? Yes, I did. Now it's weird. I'm pretty sure the draw distance. I already got this coin. Yeah. So, one of the things in this game that you can draw distance are red coins, which is handy because, well, sometimes they're really hard to find if you don't know where to look. I'm trying to remember if this post will spawn coins or not. I doubt it. Also, he's going to hit me any second. Wow. All right, let's see if this works. Two, three, four. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Oh, crap. All right, I'm getting away from this before I get dead. Let's see. I don't think I got this guy yet. Kobe, boom. All right. I see that there is some animation lock on picking up stuff. Yeah. Ow. Okay, 73. It's like the game allows you to move a little bit later than you think you sh uh, it should. Yeah. Wow, that was terrible. I know I can do this. There we go. Alright. I do want to see what this sign says. I also need this coin, potentially. There's no point. Okay. Oh, there's a box. That's good. You can get the wing cap, you can fly. Put I have, the cap on. I have gotten yeah. the wing cap in this game before, but I could never figure out how it controls. It's so unintuitive. It's not easy to use. It's it's one of those things that either slows down continuously or speeds up continuously. There's no good way to really maintain your speed. Uh, triple jump to take off. You can even blast out of cannon to fly. Yes. Probably need to throw that against... Oh, no. That was really weird. I've never seen a coin, like, instantly start to despawn like that. Luckily, they won't spawn as long as... Or, they won't despawn as fast as long as they're moving, but... Uh, Alright, so 24 right. coins left. I may have made a huge mistake, but we'll see. Uh, what is that, six? So red coins count for two, blue coins count for five, yellow coins are one. Some levels, there's some, like, infinite coin duplication glitches that people have used, but they're obviously not going to be useful for a playthrough like this. No visitors allowed by degree of the big bob bomb. I shall never surrender my stars, for they hold the power of the castle in their glow. They were a gift from Bowser, the King Koopa himself, and they lie well hidden within my realm. Not a whisper of their whereabouts shall leave my lips. All right. Perhaps one hint. He hid the star name to the beginning course. Okay. <laughs> Back when they actually More tried sprites. to write some kind of lore for Mario. Like, even... Uh -huh. that, that right there probably has more than most uh, games that have the, the word uh, new in them. Right. So, I will show you a cool trick. As long as I don't get flat. Actually, no, I won't. It'll take too long, but you can technically crawl up some surfaces if they're shallow enough. If they're, like, too slippery. Let's see. Come on. Oh, the angle's so bad here. I did not know you could stand on that. Alright. This time I won't get sucker punched. Or I will just keep getting sucker punched. Fun. I do like the wood like cut out for Mario's health. I think it looks cool. Yeah, it's interesting. Why, why would why would they go for like a, a wooden placard for for that uh, UI element? Don't know. It's weird. You grab at the edge of a cliff or a ledge with the fingertips hanging down from it. 
to drop from the edge, either press the control stick in the direction of Mario's back, press Z. Get up onto the ledge, press up and press drill stick, press A as you grab the ledge quickly. So, yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, ledges in video games. Does jumping pull you up or uh, make you fall down? Mm -hmm. Now, it's funny, Banner Kazooie does not have ledge grabbing, but Tui did. And I always, that is the one quality of life thing I wish that the sequel, or that, I don't know, that the first game had. Mm -hmm. I think we might just be able to make this. So this guy won't chase you, I don't think. He's a man in the cannon. We can still totally throw him. All right. It was very on task. Mm -hmm. Who cares that Mario is right next to me? I've, I'm supposed to be man in the cannon. Yeah. And here's the thing that lets you boost up lava waterfalls. Collect as many coins as possible or fill your power meter. You can check to see how many coins you collect in each of the 15 enemy worlds. You can also recover power with us in this mini heart. The faster you run through the heart, the more power you'll recover. See, Odyssey didn't invent the concept of hearts being related to health in Mario. There's hearts in Odyssey? Yeah, that's how you get your health back. Remember? Oh. So I'm not going to worry about him for a minute if I can make this jump. Well, yeah, we've already spent all that time getting 90 coins. We should probably mm -hmm. focus on getting the remaining 10. The question is, I don't know if I can actually make this jump now that I think about it. Um, I'm going to try if the camera will cooperate. Mm, depth perception failure. I think I got the other two. I'm gonna make sure. Nope. I'll take all I can get. It was a huge mistake not to save this for a subsequent mission. Uh, Is that draw distance on the chain chomp accurate to the N64? I don't think so. I feel like. You know, I'm not really sure. I feel like my Project 64's draw distance is more poor. I could be wrong. I don't know. Like, watching, um, when I did my Buzz Lightyear playthrough, it felt like the draw distance was abysmal, but I couldn't find any good footage of people, like, playing the game on hardware. So I don't actually know if it's supposed to be that bad. So here's a cool trick, if you don't want to go through that little segment. Yeah, look at that. So... Let's see. I'm almost... Okay. I'm gonna just, uh... My phone is not in my pocket. Crap. Uh... I... Whoa. Water bomb went everywhere. Uh, let's see. Almost at 30 minutes. Uh... I'm trying to remember if I have to jump from down here to do this. Um... Let's see. Ah... Yeah, well, if if, it, if it's just n if hundred coins just isn't gonna work, then we can come back. Yeah, I mean, there's luckily on another mission it is faster. So, um, because there's a couple things that spawn. Really shouldn't have gone for it. Sucks because you can get the red coin star and the like. If you look up on your phone right now, uh, mine is sadly charging. Like, if you can long jump to the um. We could save time that way, but I don't know. I could just commit to not doing it, so. I'm gonna reheal, though. What? I don't see him. That was really weird. Oh, okay, so you see me doing that. I have a bad habit of pushing Z before I push uh, A, and as a result, I just accidentally ground pound. I almost think it is possible to make this jump, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. Cause once you get the wing cap, I'll deal with it. But this is a good primer for the level. All right, I'm King. No, 
It's funny, he's not King Bob Om. I'm Big Bob Om, Lord of All Blasting Matter. King okay, of it the world looks over. like the jump is possible, but you have to be, uh, be like exact. Okay. Like you have to you, you have to jump off of the exact corner on the ramp and then make it onto the exact corner of the island. Is it like I would not try let's let's just let's just do the It's this corner here? Yeah, that one. Hmm. But like I I highly doubt that you could you could do it. You you have to You All right. It was it was worth one jump. You have to long jump from the top so that you have momentum. Oh, so you have to do a double long jump? Yes. Oh, gosh. All right. Once again, my childhood memory has failed me. But I'll hop up quick. Ow. Or I'll die if I'm not careful, so... It's weird. To jump kick, you, like, press A and then don't hold the direction. But to dive is kind of finicky. Sometimes you'll dive kick, sometimes you won't. Right. Oh, wait, I need that heart. Which is just right here, so who cares? I mean, I'd probably be okay, but... I'm not gonna risk it. Alright. So you're spiel again, because you have the memory of a goldfish, and... So I like that this guy is made up of just a bunch of sprites. In fact, I think the only geometry is his crown. Maybe his mustache. Oh no, a he's, kid, he's Balls 3D. Yeah, the game was weird. I think his feet are also 3D. Yep, oh, you're right, that's weird. Huh. And his yeah, mustache. For years, I th Everything else, though. For years, I was confused how you killed this guy. Well, maybe not years, because I did figure out this game eventually. So yeah, that doesn't count. That actually resets the fight, so if you get a couple hits on him and throw him out, it undoes all that progress, which sucks. Yeah, then he'll, like, follow you, so... Let's see. I'll follow you for a little bit, and I'll let you... Ah, I'll let myself get caught once. And you don't want him to throw you over the edge, because if he does... Oh, yeah, you can see Mario go de res there. Okay. If he throws you over the side, it also resets the battle, so it's not exactly forgiving. Alright. And done. Well, how could it be that a Pixie can diffuse? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, he tells you right there to grab Bowser by the tail. Yeah, um, he thinks telling you how to beat the final yeah. boss after beating the first one. Yeah, here is your star, as I promised Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu for now. Farewell. I always thought it was funny they said that. I'm like, what if some like playtesting kids were like, "Oh, I killed the guy," and no, nah, we gotta make them seem like you didn't kill him. I guess. Mario and his French finger fries. I will see you again as I explode into polygons. Yes. It's fine, I see their parachutes. The <laughs> I love that. Uh, now you can open some of the sealed doors of the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor with the painting of Womp Torches on floor one. Gaining power? I don't know about that. Save us, Mario. Keep sure. So it's Peach talking? Or is it Toad talking? So I'm going to take a quick break from that level because we spent like 25 minutes in. Well, I mean, maybe like 20 minutes in there. Oh yeah, this door right here has killed any progress from making speedruns go faster because there's no loading zone behind it. You have to physically open the door, which means things are ruined for like skipping it. All right. Yeah. And now we go in. And that, that's that's the other thing about 64 is that it seems like a lot of the interest in it is driven by the speedrunning community. Mm -hmm. And I have very, very, very little interest in the speedrunning community and doing right. speedruns. So it's like, this game is awesome for speedruns. That means nothing to me.
I do like her saying that there's some stuff Bowser doesn't know about. In the uh, DS version, there's 30 more stars. And Bowser says to you, what, 150? There's some even I didn't know about, which is kind of funny. And now for the music that everybody loves to hate and hates to love. Let's see. Secret slide, hidden star, Bowser. Oh, Pine yeah, this was stars. back when they were still calling her Toadstool instead of Peach. Oh, yeah. I like to think that's like her last name, like Peach Toadstool. All right. I'm, I'm of the opinion that it's more like a, a, a title, like the King of Hyrule is always named Hyrule. Maybe not necessarily because that's his actual last name, but because he's the King of Hyrule. So maybe Toadstool is just the noble name of Mushroom Kingdom. All right. Can I make it? Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Oh, I made it. So do you, you, do you have to get there 21 in 21 seconds? 21, okay. Under 21. Sadly, I can't pick these both up at once. So you go for the one that's uh, harder yeah. to get. Might as well. It's a shame. That's one thing a lot of hacks like to do. Is make it so to, that like, you, you don't get ejected from the level. You can just, like, select leave level from the menu. Yeah. There's the other one also of, like, have it where your coins don't disappear when you die, which is nice. Alright, I'm gonna go for a little trip here, just to show off a place most people never even think about going. So... This might take a couple attempts. But this is a cool area. Um, let's see... I might have missed it. No, I didn't. Okay. So I'm gonna attempt to jump over there. I'm going to fail to jump over there. Is there anything no, interesting over there, or is it just the fact that you can do it? Uh, so you can stand technically on top of this structure. Oh, interesting. It's it's not a place you even think about being available. Probably the easiest way to get to it is to know where to fall down from the beginning. Kind of like Sonic Adventure 2 has this like rail cannon where you can just fall. Me and my brother always screwed around that with that. So we have three power stores, stars. You can open more courses, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Um, there really is no reason to go back to Bob on Battlefield until we have 10 stars, actually. Because every other level here, except maybe... Oh, no, there's some reasons to return. Uh, the particle okay. effects on that star went behind the uh, star decal on the on the door. Yeah, this is not being emulated 100%. And isn't the N64 like the hardest of the retro consoles to get accurate emulation out of? Yeah, there's a lot of problems. Although the PS2's texture warping was a big problem for years. All right. Actually, the other day I noticed a pretty bad like render order thing in um, Birth by Sleep. Oh. Uh, it was... Uh, Ventus's wing blades, they went behind the background trees in Dwarf Woodland, so it was like, oh, that's not right. Mm hmm Hello, the lack of two bros. There's only one bro, though. Cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for seeking up on enemies. The trick is, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. Wrapping up filming techniques for on earlier... stuff. Yep. So, we could do that, or we could just do this. Normally, you have to sneak up on these guys, but if you just kind of bum-rush them, you can just do it. I'm sleepy Wait, because so I'm did sleepy. you kill him because you just ran into him? No, I did a little dive. I'll, I'll oh. do it again. You, 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 so you kind of jumped on him? Oh, I'll show you what I did. Okay. I'm sleepy because I'm sleepy. I don't like being disturbed. Please walk quietly. I'll make you sleep forever. Oh. This also so is the is uh, old design of the piranha plants. Oh, yeah. How, how are they different now? Uh, I mean, that one had, like, a green-ish body, right? Mm -hmm. The new ones have uh, have a red body with white spots. Really? Big, big white lips, yeah. Huh, okay. Big white lips? One second, I'm going to oh, look right. up a, a No, photo. you're right. You're right. 100% you're right. 
The shadowy star in front of you is a star marker. When you collect it, your coin stars will appear. Yeah, you're right. I never even noticed that change, honestly. I think they look less like plants because of that change. Now, I'm trying to think... Is this a good level to get 100 coins? Uh, you know what? I won't, because... The best levels to get 100 coins are when you're going for the 8 red, so... Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the only real difference... Yeah. These ones also have red body with white spots. The big thing is that these ones have green lips instead of white lips. Mm -hmm. so Which these always makes them look more poison-y. Yeah. These guys only show up in this level and never again. I assume that they are relatives of the thwumps. Probably. Oh, no! Ah! There I can't you go. believe I didn't die. I remember doing Oops. exactly that in the Galaxy 2 version of this level. Oh, nice. All right, so special caps, cap blocks. Galaxy All 2 right. is a game that I haven't played in quite a while, mostly because it was it, uh, never ported to Switch and probably won't be because Darn. Nintendo can't Mario right. Can't classic Mario right. Mm -hmm. So what I did to this guy was I did a dive slide. And you run, crouch, and then attack. Oh, interesting. And there I just dove on him. All right. Uh, all right. Caution, narrow bridge cross slowly. If you could call that a bridge. It's a plank of wood. Oh, game. Well, this is embarrassing. Lemons from Lemonade. It's or just annoying that, um... I have to... Th you'd think that playing this game for over two decades... Of, well, let's see. Is this game 1999? Ow. Oh, no, not 99. This is like 96. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, for... Let's see, 93, 4, 5, 6. If it was 99, this would be post Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Uh, so I was. I was 4 when this game came out. I remember playing it in uh, stores. So. This means I've been playing Mario 64 since. Mm, 26 years? No, 27 years. My gosh. All right. And you'd think I would have figured out how to properly not keep doing that mistake. My first uh, opportunity to play this game came along when I got it on the Wii Virtual Console. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's a fun move I like for Mario to do. For some reason as a kid I was really amused with his uh, getting on top of the pole, which I can't actually do on this pole. So, it's a moot point. Also, on the DS version, Mario goes, um, starts spinning down the pole. And because you can use the touchscreen to move Mario, you can control his descent. And as a result, you can go down at such a slow speed that he'll just speed up faster and faster around the pole. Until the point that he's starting to like have like after image duplicates and it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like I, I haven't actually seen anybody point that glitch out. Huh. There's a lot of stuff on the DS that people just nobody talks about. DS like, graphics calculation, am I right? Mm -hmm. Makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you say thank you? No. Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha! Huh. Alright. So these guys are the builders, then. I mean, I feel like it's implied that they literally build the kingdom out of their bodies, which is... I don't know if that's... But here's a cool trick to defeat this guy fast. So, the um, hitboxes are weird in this game. Yeah, yeah, I would call that weird hitboxes. So it, Very broken. Will he... Do you have to be in the middle of ground pounding in order to phase Absolutely through him not. like that? Oh, okay. Just jump. Yeah, it's a. It's more of a timing thing. 
Let's see. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. I mean gravel. You wouldn't take this with you. Dead. No big surprise. But if he means that, like, they paved the, the roads with their bodies, it's like, dude, what did you expect? Like, a road yeah, is know. a road it's... so you can walk on it. Yeah, frankly, the language is not clear. Mario lore is not very ironclad. Alright, now I'll show you the fast way to get up there. And I will fail the long jump to this day. Alright. Come on. Oh my gosh. It's not that hard, come on. I'm starting to get embarrassed here. Alright. I know I can do I can know I can hit the quan. Come on. What? What? <laughs> oh no. I think I just like jumped right through the seam of the geometry. That's embarrassing. Can you blessing and curse of this game? Can you believe that this game was only three years after Doom? That's kind of insane. Like it's it's kind of hard to appreciate just how fast uh, technology was um, advancing uh, at that point in the '90s because it was so new, you know. Yeah. N n like you think about it, what 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 was coming out three years ago? Uh, what was three years ago? 2020. I mean, three and a half years ago was the uh, the uh, in the early days of 2020 was. Um, the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3. Not even Kingdom Hearts 3, but the DLC for it. Hmm. Honestly... I'm trying to think. Did uh, Doom Eternal come out in 2020? It came out in 2019. It did? Yes, it did. Huh. No, wait, no, no. no just... Sorry, no, you are correct. It did come out in 2020. I remember it, was, it came out like a week after the pandemic started. Right. I know so, that yeah. it, uh... It was turbo boosted along with Animal Crossing for that reason. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's and uh, Persona Five Royal were my uh, early, um, ah! early pandemic comfort games, and a lot of people needed those. Yeah, I know. My biggest one was playing the Master Chief Collection with you, Dan, Steve. Who else? Bunch, bunch um, of our old friends. Yeah, yeah, that Good stuff. We we uh, we got together with our old high school friends on Discord and played played some rousing Halo, and we did that like weekly for months, and it, and we haven't done it in a long time, simply yeah, because we it. don't have the emotional need for it anymore because the pandemic is over. I mean, there's that, but it's also just everybody got busy with their lives. It's the biggest thing. Well, they got but I, they got a lot busier yeah. with their lives because they weren't stuck at home all the time. Yeah, there's that. But even during the pandemic, they got busy. Yeah, but I I honestly think that it was just like early pandemic. We all needed something. Yeah, it was nice, but that was it was nice. That was before I got existential about it. I was like, oh, this is fun. I could put up with this. Two years later. <laughs> uh. Honestly, partway yeah. through through Royal, like not even a month into the pandemic, I was like, "Man, I am I'm not the most social person, but oh. even I am like this is a bit much. I want I want to go yeah. back to the office and hang out with my coworkers." So we're gonna encounter this for the first time. We talk to this guy to open the can, and every level, almost every level has one, I think. So I remember when my mind was blown when I realized that Bomette is a bob -on buddy, because she's pink. Oh, yeah. That's that's cute. I never thought about that. So this is called Last Into the Wild Blue. I want you to guess what I have to do here. You have to clip into the geometry in just such a way that it launches you into the sky. I mean, you're half right. Oh, you can, you can shear that part off? Yeah. Actually, I'm wrong. I think I'm supposed to do this. I'm confusing it with two different uh, stars, I believe, but yes. 
So the trick with this one is you want to get in there to get the star. And I'm always bad at guessing the arc on this. And then we grab the star. Now, you can grab the star, but this is how I always get it. Right. Fastest star to get in the game, I think. Yeah, very you can smooth. Just spawn in the go. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Late, later Mario games would have movement upgrades such that doing that would be, instead of a nifty trick, is just like that's that's how you move forward in the level. Mm -hmm. All right, red coin time. So we're going to start collecting blue coins and red coins and yellow coins. So... Now you technically tiptoe like this. Let's see. Oh yeah, his animation changes. But I pretty much never use it. There's very little need for it. It's weird that you can do it in Banda Kazooie and they don't explain it, and it makes getting one of the stars in Banda Tooie very confusing. Alright. Let's see. Gotta be careful getting these red coins. Because I do not want to fall to my death. Yeah, it is weird how much things change. In the DS version of this game, there's an entire border around the bottom, and you only have it around, like, one edge in this version. Okay, so we're going to grab the red coin here. This kid, I tried to get all the way up there, thinking there was something secret. There was not. Of course, that was back in the day of playground rumors, such as... Bowser behind the waterfall being third Bowser, or Bowser across the sea being fourth Bowser. Neither of these things exist. And as you'll see later, the waterfall has something in it, so I don't know why that rumor even got started. Alright, so this is a yeah. new star. Back in the yeah, era that. when uh, this information was theoretically accessible, but uh, kids often didn't have access to it, and kids were the ones actually playing games. Mm-hmm. Like, it's funny, I actually got a lot of my info for this game from a black and white photocopy from the library I found in, like, the periodical section. And it blew my mind, all the stuff I didn't know about, including the wall jump. Let's see. Break open the blue coin. It's worth five yellow. You have to hurry. So, this one's easy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of coins at once. Yeah, it was what? Right there. Oh, 40? No, 20. No, 20. I can't do math. Yeah. I'm illiterate now. I'm worse than illiterate. At least then it would be nothing. All right. This one, I always forget this coin. Oh, boy. I always forget this coin is here. Uh, it makes my stomach not happy. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, we're getting coins at a much faster rate than yeah. Bob on Battlefield. Alright. Yeah, I, I like the idea of Super Mario 64, just not necessarily its exact primitive execution. I would love to see Odyssey's um, engine with Mario 64's levels. Yeah, yeah, and... I mean, yeah, I, I do like the cap and what it can do for it, but so long as Mario controls well, then I could probably get through 64 just fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, Cappy's nice and all, but, whoa. I don't know how I didn't fall there. But, uh, Cappy's nice, and I do like what he adds to Mario's kit. Oh, there's the 100 star, and it spawned in a terrible place. Oh, gosh. Uh, do I want to jump for that? No. No, don't do it. Oh, depth perception. You have failed me. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just going to jump for it. I think that would be far better. That's the reason why there was a homing stomp in Galaxy. And it's the reason, which is so weird that... Does it ever tell you about that? I'm trying to think. I'm not sure. Alright, no, I won't. I'll actually put the camera in some of it. This drop shadow is definitely needed. Oh my gosh! Okay. 
That's abysmal. Yeah. Uh. I would not jump into the cannon for fear that you might fall off the stage. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really should have paid attention to where I was getting that hundredth coin. In future Mario games, they have the star spawn and then goes to a predetermined location. And I do think that's a much smarter idea. And when when here, Odyssey doesn't do that, oh it just gosh. spawns the moon directly on top of your location, so there's no way not to get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, this time for sure, I... That probably little... wouldn't work so well with, uh, with 64 because it boots you out of the level. Yeah. Although this, you'll see in a second why it's okay that I grab this. You collected 100 stars. Do you want to save? Yes. Points. That's the one exception. Oh, the 100, the 100 coin star doesn't boot you from the level? Does not kick you out, which is why you should always get the 7, 8 red coins and the 100 coin star at the same time. Oh. There's then, pretty much no reason not to. Why did they kick you out with all the other stars? At, at least, at least I mean, Galaxy is consistent. It kicks you out of the level after every star. Yeah. Yeah, which I actually hate. I wish they didn't. I really wish that game was just slightly less linear, but that's more my beef. All right, here's a cool trick with these guys. Some, some of the stars in Galaxy, just the way Galaxy is built, it wouldn't always work. Sometimes it might, but... There's one level in particular that I know was built in, in beta. It, like, um... I don't know if it didn't kick you, or I think it kicked you out, but it was one of the few demo levels that had, like, multiple things in it. I believe it was the, it had a combination of things. It had the Space Junk Galaxy, like, five, what is it, like, Silver Stars or whatever. Oh, yeah, the Silver it Stars. Had, uh, it had the Spider Boss, and it had the uh, uh, Squid, like, Fire Squid Boss. But yeah, that it had branching paths, and it's weird. I don't think any other level has you kick something down like that. Also, this is the only level to have these guys. Hey, Bullet Bill, how you doing? Yep, and we'll never see him again. Goodbye, William. It's always weird right. when games have, like, one enemy in one location and nowhere else. It's like, clearly you built this, intended to put it a bunch of different places, and then couldn't think of anywhere and you just put it in here so that they didn't go completely unused. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, checking for wind. And I missed horribly. I mean, hey, that maybe you didn't get directly onto it, but that was really dang close. Yeah. And all I did was break Mario's shin bones. So we have eight stars now, so we can actually go fight Bowser. I'm gonna grab two more stars and grab the cap star real quick. So there's two ways to do this level. There's the intended way, which I'll show, and the non-intended way, which I'll also show. Who's there? I'm now grab onto my leg, get ready to have horrible motion sickness. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh gosh. Suddenly, I'm reminded of Sonic 06. A little bit, actually. So, they don't tell you that you can... I don't think they tell you you can steer him. Also, I cannot see where I'm going. I think I might have already missed my chance. I legit cannot figure out how to steer him. Am I dropping in altitude? I think I am. Yeah, I think you okay, were a so lot higher earlier. You're supposed to fall into that cage. You'll see. You're supposed to fall into the cage with the L. Aww. Oh. You can also shoot into the cannon and grab it if you're, like, stupid accurate. I will try the L one more time. Usually he doesn't give me this kind of trouble. Usually he just takes you right to it. 
But I think I was so slow. Uh, let's see. It'd help if I faced the right direction. Okay. There it is. Okay. Game. Okay. I'll just do this the way I like to do it. jump should not be... Usually I have no problems with this jump. Okay. Alright. Wow, that was slippery. Nope. This is full of me fumbling the bag. Okay. Alright. So you're gonna do use this to get over to that cage. Oh my gosh! All right, we're taking the owl. Um, technically, you can do a cool like you can do a triple jump into a wall jump, and then pushing against the direction you're going, then grab back up onto the right ledge. But I'll just use the dang owl. It'd be faster to try and fail with him, so. I, I'm not as young as I used to be with this stuff. Okay, game? What was that? Like, that's twice that it's like, I felt like I hit an invisible wall. Were you, were you hitting against him? Maybe? Let's see, where is he? Are you supposed to so jump or like on? press down to get off of him? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Also, where is he? I just saw his drop shadow. He's time. back there. Oh. Uh, takes time. Okay. It's funny. This is the only level he appears in. There are too many never owls in Mario pack. in general, right? Okay, that's three for three. That it's. Are you just supposed to not... let him uh, gently like uh, float down? I guess potentially. I mean, do, do you that. normally just fall straight down when you jump off of him? I thought fall onto the caged island. I feel like I do, but I don't know if it's an emulation problem or I'm just being sloppy. But yeah, this time I'll actually try to line up better and just kind of dance around the cage a little bit. Also, the way you turn him is not very... It's very tank controls. There we go. Here we go. Also, I just noticed the draw distance was so her either so horrendous, or I accidentally hit the wall with the cannon. No. Yeah, I noticed all the way up there, there's a wall that's normally blast awayable. Destructible. And, uh... The draw distance meant that the game was not showing the wall. It's funny, there's actually a secret way to get this. Secret's wrong. Glitchy way to get this. If you... Let's see. You can actually see the star kind of yellowish in there. And you can actually, like... If you jump at the wall just right, you'll get the star. But this is the intended way. All right. All right. Almost. And... Now, I foolishly, as a kid, always tried to shoot to the star, like, with the cannon again. And, of course, missed and fell to my death a bunch. I don't know why it did not occur to me to just come up here and grab it. I swear, that, that red coin sound effect, I've heard it in Zelda before. For some reason, I'm getting Majora's Mask flashbacks. Um... You know the silver coins? Oh, you might be right. I think it's similar at the very least. Okay. That, that, that toad piece. phased into existence. Yep. Now that is normal. They have a very small short draw distance. And I did not know about this for a long time as a kid. Whoa. This is such a pain in the butt to steer, so I'm not going to worry about grabbing this yet. Okay, we're going to get the switch. Alright. I also did not know how to take off with this. But 
triple jump is the way, and I felt wrong. That was really weird. Honestly, controlling this is a bit of a bear. Me no likey. But, now I can grab this real quick. Alright. Can I talk to... I'm curious, what does he have to say? Thank you, Mario. The big bomb is nothing but a big dud now, but the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies behind the power sword, but da-da. Yep. So, I guess you do talk to him after. We're peace-loving bombs, so we don't use cannons. If you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. Prepare all your cans. Bon voyage. I just realized bon voyage just means good voyage. Yeah, it's your good journey in French, yeah. Did he say bon voyage, or did he say bomb voyage? No, he, didn't, he said bon... He did say bon voyage, I think. Missed opportunity so, for a pun. It's time to race this gigantic Koopa. And he sometimes kind of cheats. So he'll take another route. Uh, so technically, I'm trying to remember if it actually detects you cheating. I might be thinking of the penguin. I think that's the one that detects you cheating. Cheating as in going off the path or cheating as in like you've hacked the game? More like magic shortcut. Like, it's intentional. Like a... Oh, people theorize that the uh, King bob -omb is one of these balls since there's not three of them, but that's more just Mario Iceberg theory crafting garbage. From 30 years of people playing this incessantly. Yes. Ow. Because you can take this and he won't have any beef, so... Unfortunately, the star only spawns once he bothers to show up. Oh, that's lame. Uh huh. In fact, I guess, I guess the rationale have... is that he's giving you the star, but seriously. Yeah, and he is. He literally does. And it's funny because um, people. He's so slow compared to what you can do. You can actually do this twice, I think. Maybe even three times. But you have to really book it. Alright. A human blur. It's always weird when Mario's referred to as a human. I mean, it's like, yes, he human. is, but I never really thought of him that way. Yeah. It's why the new Donk humans are so, like... I see the concept art for Mario Odyssey's, like, more Mario-esque humans, and I'm just like, man... I kind of wish that we got that. Oh, well, the tall, grotesque humans at least look like Pauline a little bit. I mean, the fact that they look all way too realistic is the joke. Right. So the cannon is a good way to fast travel sometimes. And I always struggle to shoot to the right place with this cannon. Like, the arc of it is kind of annoying. Let's see, I'm probably going to overshoot it. Mm, nope. This is the first star I ever got as a kid. And it was already gotten, so it was on someone else's save file. Ah, I was about to say, I was like, how did you get it? I thought that the star wasn't even available yeah. until later. Nope. Um, yeah, so... I'm not going to worry about the eight red coins for a minute here. I'm going to grab the... Um, something, something. Ah, you're gonna get that one? Yeah. I know this one. You ground pound this, and then the chain chomp yeah. is set free, and... I'm gonna try something real quick. Just to see if I can do it. Ah. So if you grab the bob -omb, you can like do this weird clip where the extended hitbox from the bob -omb can push you through walls. But nope, I cannot do bomb clip. This little area behind the cage is kind of weird to me. It's so shallow. Reminds me of one of those store displays you'll see. 
Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, they're kind of like yeah. boxed in stores. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, I don't know if anybody's ever pointed this out, but I feel like that's a liminal space. Maybe that's weird because you never go in them, but they just feel like these places that you see them, but you don't, you know, you can't go there really. Wow, did I just get hit twice? <laughs> That reminds me, today at work, there was a kid. I did not hit the kid. Uh, <laughs> there was this kid dressed as Mario in a little costume. It was kind of cute. That's oh, nice. See. Yeah, I see a fair share of cute kids, cute dogs. All right, so I'm also not going to get the red coins yet. We're going to get a secret star. We have to shoot through all these rings. I missed. I almost got him off. Yeah, you have to shoot through the center of all the rings. And the draw distance is always bad, even on the original cartridge. I can technically circle back, uh, but it is kind of just easier to keep shooting out of the cannon. This will wear off in a second if I'm not quick. Let's see. I think I'm shooting too low. You mean too high? So, you keep going through uh, the tops of the rings. Um. Since this is the since this is an early level, shouldn't you just be aiming to the dead center of that first ring? I think so. Maybe. That's what I thought I was doing. For the guy tweaked the stick. Let's see, can I? Okay. I think I'll have it one more time. Man, I keep nailing this cannon. I am not even attempting or attempting that. Okay. Um... Yeah, see there, I think I have to aim up just a little bit. I know it can be done in one shot, but it's kind of very specific. All right, this time for sure. I'm gonna actually aim here. Let's see. Too high. It's very fidgety. Yeah, it's it's kind of you should not have something this finicky in such an early level of the game. You should have something yeah, simple and, and straightforward. Ugh. And while you are intentioned to come back here later, by no means... By no means should it be this difficult. It is just awful to control the wing cap. Here we go. But that's okay. We got it. All right, well, I have 14 stars. We've been going for about almost an hour and 15 minutes. How are you feeling? I think I'm good for uh, this part for today. Yeah, because to get the uh, eight red coins and the 100 stars, 100 coin star here, uh, I definitely don't want to do that again this time, so. All right, well, we will we'll see, see you guys next time. Yeah, see Sorry. you next time. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye-bye.